Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my Witch's Moon for February 2023. Yay! <laughs> I'm excited! So I don't know if I am uploading all of these videos. If you see me in this black shirt, I'm doing it the same day, but you may be watching it on a different day and you're thinking, why didn't she change her clothes? It's because I'm filming the same day. Because <laughs> I had like six boxes that were waiting for me. So anyways, hello and welcome if you guys are new to my channel. My name is Lisa and on my channel I mostly do unboxings, but I do other witchy things too. So, <clears throat> we'll see. My dog is starting to get irritated that I'm not paying attention to him. So we're going to see if he's going to be a butthole or not. <laughs> and start barking at me. Oh, Dropping shit on the floor. Usually he starts playing with it. There he goes. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this and put my dog in the other room. Be right back. Okay, I am back. All right, it says the will of a witch. It almost looks like the B word. <laughs> Again, the scripty writing. All right, as the comfort of winter dreams begin to fade, we are faced with our most crucial moment yet. To capture the essence of growth and transformation that is gifted to us during this important season, just as the sun continues to grow above the endless skies, our potential for life-changing momentum and change are here for the taking. It is at this time that we are clear, <coughs> excuse me, clear about the work that we are doing, filling our purpose with true and potent intention. This is the time for action, for progress, for elevation, for commitment. We focus on fully embracing the endless opportunities that unfold before us during this magical time of year. In this exclusive and inspired collection, we provide a set of unique tools to foster your personal and powerful will so that your path may be brimming with intentionality and abundantly filled with real manifestation. I cast my intentions to the spirit sea. May the waves of manifestation forever find me. It was written by G. Ibis. The magical items in this box are as follows. All right, so my intuitively drawn card is wait for a solution. Relax and it shall appear. <laughs> I, I need that. Okay, so there is my card. And uh, that's the backs of the card. How pretty. It's just kind of like a mandala almost type thing. That is so funny. It's saying, bitch, just sit back and wait for the universe to do its thing. Quit trying to stress about it. <laughs> All right, let me see what that is from. <clears throat> um, personalized Oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from The Secret Language of Your Soul Oracle Deck by Ina Siegel to place inside your box. This card in the message that it represented was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. Allow these affirmations to guide your day and bring purpose to your concentration. Some questions that should be asked in relation to the card received are, how does each aspect of this card make me feel? What connections can I see between the image and my body, life, and self? What is the card alluding to about my past, present, or future well-being? Yeah, I mean, like, I totally know what this means. <laughs> There's a couple things that that means in my life right now. <clears throat> All right, so our first, I'm sorry, I keep clearing my throat and coughing and all that crap. Oh, gosh. This looks a little, um, well, it kind of looks Roman, but then there's like a Egyptian scarab in the middle of it. So we have an artwork and it says, I cast my intentions. Oh, it's that, it's that, um, thing that I just read. I cast my intentions to the spirit sea. May the waves of manifestation forever find me. So mote it be. So this almost looks kind of Romanish, but if you look, there's a Egyptian scarab right there. And then there's that little sigil. <clears throat> All right. Is it? Is there stuff on the back? No. Okay. Well, I mean, 
Oh, cast my intentions. All right, this exclusive sigil and mantra have been created for this very collection. You will find the following mantra, which I already read, and <clears throat> you guys know, created by G. Ibis, illustrated by A.E. Alden. Yes. All right, and our next artwork is Spirits of Prosperity. Yes, so it looks like um, they've got a bunch of different gods and goddesses that are um, for prosperity. And, of course, it looks like Fortuna right on front there. So she's got her little cornucopia. <clears throat> and she is listed as one of them. The other goddesses um, that I recognize are gods uh, Ganesha, Janus, Lakshmi, Min, which is Egyptian. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how to pronounce this one. It's uh, Tai Chi. T-Y-C-H-E, it's Greek, uh, goddess of luck and fortune, which I've, um, I've heard of before. I just don't know how to pronounce it. So, all right. Arr, blah, 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 blah. I swear, I'm always having a hard time. Spirits of Prosperity, <clears throat> creating exclusively for this collection, very collection, this beautiful and inspired Spirits of Prosperity Book of Shadows artwork provides a fundamental list of spirits that can aid and assist you towards a life of abundance and prosperity. All right. I need that right now, y'all. I need some prosperity and abundance. All right. So we've got um, a muslin bag. So obviously we're getting some tea. Apricot Alley. Mmm. All right. Let me find that in here, and then I want to smell it. All right. A wonderfully warm and stimulating blend this Apricot Alley Ritual Tea has been placed within this collection to cultivate the energies of contemplation and inspiration. Ooh, that smells good. This Ritual Herbal Tea has been created with marigold petals, cinnamon chips, and dried apricot. As you sip this calming blend before or after your rituals of intention, allow its energies to conjure emotions of excitement and eagerness. Okay. <laughs> I like to smell it. Okay, and seeing as how we were just talking about marigold or calendula, we have some in our collection. All right, calendula petals or marigold. I sell these in my shop. Originated in Mediterranean areas, Europe and some parts of Asia being named after the first day of the month, calends, when they were noted to bloom. An overall symbol of joy and happiness, calendula was used in many ancient ceremonies, including the Romans and Greeks, making garlands of the flowers to celebrate. This beautifully radiant flower assumes the full sun position and prefers to bask in its light and warmth. As you work with this herb, allow this radiant energy to pass through you so that you may also bask in the illumination of the sun. Dress your candles with this herb. Include within... <clears throat> where to go? Include within magical sachets, or simply incorporate into your altars of growth and transition. Planetary Association Sun Elemental Fire. All right. Um, I do sell that in my shop. Did I already say that? I probably did. Um, and most of my herbs, I try to get them organic if I can, but they're all extremely fresh, and you can use them to make teas. You can use them in spell work. Whatever. Um, I got you. All right. So we got a little bit of crepe paper. Here. All right, let's get our candle. This is a fat one. I feel like this is fatter than normal. It's a big yellow one. I'm just gonna take the whole thing off. There we go. Yeah, I feel like this is, they're usually not this fat. <laughs> Did I just throw something on the floor? Okay. Yep. Large intention casting hand rolled and anointed beeswax spell candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the purpose of bolstering your intentional impact during your ritual work. As you allow the flame of this candle to dance before you, concentrate on where you are, what you're doing, and the deep reason for its importance. 
During this time, write down your intentions, your shortcomings, your accomplishments. Be specific on, your, on the blessings, prosperity, and abundance you wish to see in the coming months. Before you begin, work to create the energy that you intend to surround you during ritual. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone for the purposed ritual. I think I just broke some of it off. Whoops. We always recommend being comfortable. Anyways, it was saying, um, speak. Uh, so you can speak your words clearly and loudly, enhancing your intentional situation. It's enchanted with ginger and orange oils, as well as their open door magical anointing oils. I love that this has the open door thing. That I already have a purpose for, so yeah. Okay. What else do we want? Now we have our copal incense. Oh, I also sell incense in my shop. It's from uh, Wildberry. Wildberry incense is what I sell in my shop. That smells really good. All right. I still have incense burning from a different one, so I'm not going to light this one. Copal! As you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to wave throughout your sacred space, allow its cleansing energies to be used as a purifier or ritual offering. Burn this ritual incense as you write, paint, or craft. You will find that a sense of positivity has slowly engulfed the room and sparked inspiration for your work. Okay, cool. Alright, cool. I'm going to do that. Stick you over there in my little incense holder. I'm going to take a drink. All right, so spirit swelling, sacred salt. Okay, there it is. Sorry. <laughs> this very special ritual sacred salt blend has been created to bring a sense of inspiration and excitement to your spiritual workings. It is easy to get stuck in a cyclic battle of stagnant emotions, <clears throat> period. Uh, allow this blend to relax your thoughts and in turn, I don't know what's happening with my hair, and in turn foster the energies of newness and revitaliz revitalization. These practices are essential for this time of year as growth and transformation are on the horizon. As you work with these magical ingredients, take the time to feel as comfortable as possible, relaxing your mind and body. Visualize your life filled with fresh perspective, new experiences, and emotional gratitudes. We have enchanted the sacred salt with lemon, white tea, and bergamot oils, as well as lemon balm and blue cornflower herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our cosmic radiance magical oil uh, from our first book. I don't know which really. Okay. All right, what's next? Oh, this is good too. This goes along with our candle and like a spell that I was already going to do. It's like on my list of shit to do. All right, put this over here. So we have Road Opener Ritual Oil Spray. Yay! Let me put the little spray doodad in here so we can spray. Open the freaking roads. Yeah, we need our roads open. Oh, that smells good. Road opener, ritual, or a spray. <coughs> we are thrilled to be able to introduce our road opener, ritual, or a spray within this special collection. Created with the intention of attracting opportunities and breaking down barriers, this spray is a perfect companion during the months of growth ahead. We recommend using this or a spray while starting complicated and difficult tasks, yeah, before a job interview and while working through rituals of prosperity magic. As you spray this elixir throughout your surroundings, visualize a golden glow beginning to surround you. We have created this aura spray with the oils of orange, peppermint, lavender, lemongrass, and a special mixture of our attraction magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. It's exciting. Yeah! Okay. Super, super excited. Okay, there are three more things. Let's get this. We have an altar cloth. Oh, look. Very nice. 
Love it. I haven't gotten an altar cloth in a little while. I feel like I've given a bunch of them away. So, got a new one. All right, let's read about our altar cloth. I've read all of that stuff. Gold Triple Moon Pentacle Ritual Altar Cloth. We have chosen to include a gold altar cloth within this collection to bring about the energies of abundance, prosperity, and manifestation. Great. Use this. This cloth is perfect for laying out tarot and oracle cards, wrapping sacred items, or simply placing beneath your ritual tools as uh, ritual tools as you use them. I think there's a word missing. Within the design of this altar cloth, you will find the triple moon and the pentacle. An extremely empathetic symbol, the triple moon is commonly associated with the qualities of intuition, connection, and cycle. These cycles consist of the maiden, representing youth, creativity, and openness, the mother, representing fertility, patience, understanding, and power, and the crone as one of the more powerful aspects representing knowledge, wisdom, and acceptance. These divine feminine qualities remind us to call upon our personal power and intuition to overcome and accomplish important tasks. In addition, the pentacle has been placed within the moon, representing our magical connection with the elements and how they correspond with all aspects of existence. It's made from 100% polyester. Very good. <laughs> all right. We've got two more things. I don't know which one to open next. Um, okay, we're gonna open, I don't know what is happening. I put like wax in my hair and it's like, <laughs> ooh! Okay, so we had a little box. <laughs> oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> I'll tell you, the um, pentacle um, talisman that we got from I don't remember if it was the Witch's Moon or the Witch's Roots <clears throat> a while back. Oh, I loved it so much. I wear it like all the time. Okay, so here's the front. Isn't that awesome? And on the back it says career success with fire, water, earth, and air by the four points of the compass square. Power to succeed in my career. Complete success fills my sphere. So mode it be. And I think I got a glimpse that it was Christopher Penzak. Yeah. Exclusive career success talismanic spell coin pendant by Christopher Penzak. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Christopher Penzak is a witch teacher, writer, and healing practitioner. His practice draws upon the foundation of both modern and traditional witchcraft, blended with the wisdom of mystical traditions from across the globe as a practitioner and teacher of shamanism, tarot, Reiki healing, herbalism, astrology, and Kabbalah. This powerful spell coin has been turned into a pendant for this very collection. This spell coin and the design inscribed upon it represent our ability to attract abundance and prosperity into our lives. This can be accomplished through career or simply any pursuit that brings inspiration and purpose into your life. Inscribed upon the back of this coin is the following affirmation, which I already read. So, oh my gosh, gonna put this on, gonna put it on, y'all. Yes, I'm gonna have to do like the like a prosperity abundance ritual and um, infuse some business into this necklace. Okay, so last but not least, ooh, it's heavy. <clears throat> I'll move this crinkle paper over here. I'm making a mess use the big box for the crinkle paper but it's gonna go in my drawer in a minute anyways okay so we got a bubble wrap something something oh it is is that orange calcite some sort of calcite it looks like and it it's like almost an egg shaped and then like a candle holder what crystal is this? Uh, oh, it's onyx. It says white honey onyx candle holder. Sorry, I'm like, 
I do not have any of this crystal. Woo. There's a little bit of, I don't, well, I don't know if it's my lights bouncing off of it, but there's almost a little, um, little bit of rainbow in there, maybe. But it's, you know, it's pretty opaque. It's probably, there's just a little section that when my light hits it, it like, yeah, that's cool. Okay. <clears throat> Commonly referred to as the sibling of marble, Onyx carries many names, including but not limited to Onyx marble, Egyptian alabaster, and Mexican onyx. When geologists glance at a slab of onyx, they refer to it as banded calcite. Okay, so it's kind of in that family. It is most natural form, in its most natural form and color, onyx is found with a warm white honey hue traveling through its iron-rich surface. Unlike granite and quartzite, which are formed, <clears throat> formed deep within the Earth's crust, onyx is found and materialized right on the surface. In a beautiful natural cycle, spring water or groundwater <clears throat> that contains an abundance of calcite is washed over and over, and throughout time, onyx is formed. When sliced or slabbed, you can find a variety of shapes, bands, and patterns, revealing several thousands of years of manifestation. Interestingly enough, the word onyx comes from the Greek word claw for its natural white and honey color. Onyx has a deep and rich history, one which has appeared in ancient Rome and ancient Egypt, a wonderfully tranquil and peaceful stone Onyx reduces stress and brings about an overall sense of well-being and security. We personally love to include Onyx within our working altar areas as it helps us to ease anxieties, provide vitality, and sharpen our concentration for the task at hand. You will quickly find that your breathing manages to slow, your nervous system starts to relax, and a sense of inspiration and hope begins to fill your spiritual vessel. This very sacred time is now abundantly filled with a sense of self-control and firm intent. This is the time of year for growth, transformation, and the calling upon of abundance and prosperity. Now is the very time to lean on these energies to bring new opportunities into your realm. Rely on this onyx candle holder when you are writing in your book of shadows by candlelight, setting your intentions, creating sigils, or simply crafting spell work. We have ethically sourced this beautiful onyx to be made into this exclusive candle holder that now accompanies your altar. <clears throat> we made the decision to include a larger area for you to place your candle to ensure most pillar candles will stand nicely. If you use a smaller candle within this holder, simply refer to the instructions in the description of the spell candle included within this collection. We truly hope that this beautiful stone will accompany you throughout the many, many years of creating, crafting, and manifesting your truest intention. Awesome. Yeah, most likely they're going to say light the candle and let a bunch of um, wax um, collect and then you drip it in there and then you'll stick your um, candle inside the, uh, the, the molten wax and then it'll obviously harden up. But fun! Totally going to do some shit with this. <laughs> this is solid too. It's heavy. Um, super excited. All right, I don't know if they say anything else. It just says, you know, the usual, as you perform your rituals, do not set expectations, cast your intentions, and be pure of heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge available to you. Take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it holds. Open yourself to receive these beautiful gifts. May your intentions never be lost on the winds of fate. Speak and live. You are creator in creation. Your life is craft, your supple body, molded by word, sculpted by desire, fired by deed. You, you poise yourself between life and fate, the will of gods, in the beat of a heart, the suck of a breath. You are the universe making, making, making. And that is, uh, it says, Awakening Osiris, Egyptian Book of the Dead translation. Awesome. Very good. Thanks for doing some Egyptian shit in there. Okay, guys, so that is the Will of a Witch. Uh, box from the Witch's Moon for February 2023. I almost said 2022. That ain't right, girl. We left that shit behind, right? Goodbye, 22. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello 23. All right, guys, I would love if you would give me a thumbs up. Leaving me a comment below really helps out my channel. And if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And thank you so much for those of you already subscribing. And I will leave last month's box right here for you to see. And until next time, have a great day. Bye. Thank you.